endoscopy. I am introducing SmartEye 2 Plus system. This is a next generation digital HD video endoscopy system. Now here we see a complete setup of SmartEye 2 Plus video processor system. First we do a video cable and power supply connections. This is a rare panel of SmartEye 2 Plus video processor. It's having this rare power supply of SmartEye 2 Plus video processor. These are the video so outputs. These are the output output video outputs. This, these are there are two HDMI, HDMI outputs. Outputs. There are two HDMI. You can connect the HDMI outputs. to HDMI or HDMI to DVI cable. DVI here outputs. You can two HD HDMI outputs. Any of two S video or YC outputs connection. Two VBS VBS or composite signal output. Two DVS output. HDMI input. Here I am connecting this DVI cable. Connection is there, and keyboard connection is there. So you can attach a keyboard here. You can connect HDSDI output cable, then S video output cable, and the composite or VBS output connections. So you can connect the composite signal cable also. So there are multiple options for video signal cables. There is a separate HDMI input slot is there to connect the external source. For example, CM. If you want to connect to the CM images, you want to see. The CM images on the same monitor, you can connect the CM HDMI input here. Then there is a keyboard slot. You can connect the video processor keyboard here. And the most important part is power supply cable. This is a power supply cable. You can see a power supply slot is there. You connect a power supply cable here. So this is a complete connection of the video output signals, the keyboard and power supply. So this is a white balance cap. I am connecting this white balance cap to this video processor slot. Then this is a water container. So make whenever you feed a water into this container, make sure to Fill the water till this maximum marking and always use a clean and dust free water. So I am just connecting this water to a slot and this is an external device, external pen drive. I am connecting. This USB slot. Now I am connecting this video gastroscope to this video processor. This is a scope connector. So this is a single step ultra lightweight waterproof connector. You can completely immerse this scope into the water. There is no requirement of extra water res resistance cap. So here you can see a notch. This is a upper section of this video connector. Connecting this connector, this is locking. You can see now the connector is completely locked. I am connecting this water container. This is a water port. Then you can connect a suction cable in here to see the scope connection later on. First, we just starting this video processor. This is a power of on off switch. Just pressing this button to start the video processor. This is a home screen. Here you can see the switches on the scope. 
the feedback switch to switch three. This upfront panel where are functions showing there are total eight functions showing on this touch screen. This is a home screen. If you want to change the scope without switching off this video processor, you have to keep this system on home. You have to select the home function. Then this M2 function is for the image enhanced endoscopy technology. Then the light on off function where you can select light on or off. This is a white balance function. This is an enhancement for the better image resolution or this for the soft sharpness. The extension, if you connect some external source like CR or ultrasound, you can connect to the analog input or HDMI digital input. So whenever you connect the external source to this video processor, you have to select this external input connection. So this is the external source screen. You have the lot of options. This is your endoscopy screen as well as external screen on the same monitor. Then the external input screen as well as your endoscopy screen. Then you can see the both images simultaneously. This is your video processor endoscopy screen and this is your external source image. So this is for pump on off and low function. So if you want to keep this pump off, you have to press this button. If you keep on low, you have to press this button. Now the pump is on low. If you want to keep a pump on high, you have to press this button again. Then this is iris function. So you have to keep there are two functions that is for average and peak so you have to keep this function on average so this is a complete function of Then so shift now we see F5 or settings of this keyboard. So there are three on the keyboard. It one is the position of the mouse. Four, eight, five, up to eight, twelve. And twelve. Control F5. So five settings setup. You have to to change a mask click on F1. You have to press the F1 button on the keyboard. You can see the image mask setup is there. So this is the first setting you want for the scope switches. So you can. A save a scope remote switches as uh, functions as per your requirement. The switch one then to F6 for the near focusing setting. Then sub screen that is key is extreme close of view pictures. And to control so you can to change a mode of LC position setting and the size of picture in picture and F7 that is the sub screen. Uh, Here you can change image. the light control. Then mode. external input you can the LC the timer as well as LC timer. Mode. External input. Now the LC the clock is there, the clock on. setting the time display. Then the camera then control F7 menu is, is for the LC mode. So by camera control menu, automatic light you control can change a white balance that is red gain as well as blue gain. F is for enhanced chroma brightness. You can change the enhanced plus on the keyboard. Then white camera. The contrast F9 is and for the resolution. So you can change the control setting. Then the home screen for F series you can the next function is can do home factory screen. setting. So, so this is a system series menu. Then F eleven you have to press F two function you can as well as F one. Remove a data. This is a data. You can see the name data. 
just do it if uh, the patient data is completely removed with data at this time is removed then shift F12 F3 F3 is for the patient data if you want to F12 you have to save this of patient data the name of the well. patient data F2 just go to so the here entry. user uh, ID name say user will say enter file number of user settings then for F4 you can say the automatic so game control can see the scope remote switches as per the requirement of doctors and you can save up to 5 number user settings here then shift F3 you can see the full screen so these are a complete keyboard settings for SC2 plus video process so by pressing control F5 you can change this the image mask which is in all shape. If you press it again, you can see the polygon shape image mask again. Then by pressing Ctrl or Shift and F7, you can change LC control settings. Now the light control mode is on automatic light control plus LC, uh, electronic light control mode then the LC timer you can change the LC timer now it is on 100 seconds and the LC timer mode also so these are a complete setting of keyboard which is coming along with your smart i2 plus video processor thank you